Here with Blue White Spears, round one of the Pioneer Preliminary Event. We're going to be keeping this hand We're on the draw, which is unfortunate, as being on the play usually helps winning games, especially with a tempo-oriented deck like this. But this hand's good. We got Double Lord. We have Interaction in three different forms, so can't really complain about our hand. Really wish we were on the play, though, as per usual. Let me update the stream decker for you guys. Let me just do this first. F6. I'm not going to F6 on their turn quite yet. Stream decker in my decks. Looks like we're against blue white. That's always good for us. Azorius Spirits. Set as deck. Is it a Grand Prix or Pro Tour? Well, it's, it was the Grand Prix when I set up the, the donation incentive. Well, the events Mythic Championship the Magic. The branding is not great. Yeah, I agree. Ooh, I love, you love to see it. Okay, I'm not going to make this mistake again. I made this mistake last time. I made this mistake last time. Holy shit. I almost did it again. You are so close. Now, sometimes you see a Miser's Muta Vault. Every so often. I think we're just moving in. I think we're moving in. Try and go for Lethal over two turns. It's unfortunate they have a second Reflector Mage. Wow, they're playing Eldrazi. Deputy. That is unfortunate. Okay, they take those out. We have Brazen Borrowers still, and like a bunch of interaction. Hmm. And I think we're just gonna, like, beat them with our interaction. That's what it's looking like right now, at least. One of my devotion in the format. It's just a matter of figuring out those four flex slots. At least that's fair. I'm gonna play Epic Ball again. Rap. <laughs> uh, Blast Zone. That's potentially a problem. It's interesting that they're playing that in their deck. I guess they're playing Eldrazi, so makes sense. Or at least they have they gotta be playing Eldrazi with this waste in their deck. play this out on the end step. They're probably going to spell cooler it. I'm going to be sad. Wow, they didn't. Okay. That's interesting. It's very interesting. I'm going to attack. 7 nothing. Okay. I'll spell call it whatever your interaction is. Okay, I guess I guess they just had nothing. Uh, okay. Confused a little bit. Do you know? That's how it goes sometimes. Hmm. BDNYN, thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. I think we just cut like that. Cut the curious obsessions for the mystical disputes. I was very, con I was very surprised. I just had four, four blanks. Just the straight up four blanks. Did not expect. Hmm. I mean, yeah, hand seems good to me. I'll take my wins wherever I can get them. Right now, it looks like I'm getting them on the cheap today. Lost the first match we played today, and then just didn't decide we weren't going to lose anymore. 
Seems fair, doesn't it? Seems fair to me. I think I get this one on the battlefield first. We're definitely whitelisted. <laughs> I'll just rattle chains the reflector mage again. Or the deputy or whatever it is gonna end up being. Hmm. <laughs> I just believe when I tried this deck. Yeah. Is it bad to have a card in your in your main deck that you side out all the time? Not necessarily. But the, it does make you question should it be in your main deck at all at that point. I'm gonna play this out. I get quellered. I'll just brazen bar with the queller, and we'll move from there. I don't know if it's correct to do that exactly how I did it. I don't think it's that bad. Mana Confluence in a two-color deck, yeah. Who knows if this Mana Confluence is correct or not, but it hasn't been the worst. Hmm. Okay, now we're gonna see what they're, they're up to. Because huh? now we can just play a game where we just leave out Spectral Sailor forever, or we, like, gotta play Empyrean Eagle, Empyrean Eagle in response to, like, anything that they're gonna do. They're just gonna pass. Sure, we should just be like heavily favored from this position now. Because we don't want to show them that we're like flooding out now. The white has no faster pans, yeah. Should be blocking here if he's smart. Okay, he's not. The brightest seems like here was the here was just the freebie block because like then like any flashed in thing just doesn't get him right but I thought about not uh, playing or attacking with this but ended up being good so that's good Second Brazen Borrower, can't complain about that. I'm just gonna play it out. Actually, no, I wanna play out the Brazen Borrower on their end step because I have the other Brazen Borrower, so I can just Petty Theft it, and then we're just like in a nutso spot, right? Three of Inspector, sure, that's fine. Pre Verdict one time. Pre Verdict would be fine for us, like, still be in a good spot against Verdict. Nice spell colors us. Now we petty theft it. I'm gonna cast the brazen borrower part because I just want to like kill them. I don't think we need a petty theft again here. Not quite dead, but. They're very close to it. The guy who obviously isn't very good. <laughs> Classic tempo play. Yeah. If he didn't mess up the spell quality block, I think he actually would have been in a good spot. Oh, he just had lethal? Wasn't he at 9? Am I an idiot? Oh, wait. Oh, this is not just spirits. It gives flying. I forgot about that. Livius End Gaming. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Well... We had the win, I guess. I thought we were one-off, but I guess we got him. But, uh, yeah. This matchup went 
like pretty well for us. The blue white mid range deck just we have flyers and they don't. We get to play a flash game basically for all of our cards, so it seems like really good for us. Yeah, pretty easy victory here in the Pioneer Prelim. Hopefully we can continue this in the next rounds. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.